was flying cross country from the East Coast to the West Coast in the 1970s. And I was looking out the window, and as I was looking down at the planet, the thought came to me, anyone living in a space settlement or living on the moon would always have an overview. They would see things that we know, but we don't experience, which is that the Earth is one system, we're all part of that system, and that there is a certain unity and coherence to it all. And I immediately called it the overview effect. You do, from that perspective, see the Earth as a planet. You see the sun as a star. We see the sun in a blue sky, but up there you see the sun in a black sky. So yeah, it's, it's, it, you are seeing it from a cosmic perspective. We've been evolving from the beginning of civilization to a larger and larger perspective of life on the earth. But the next natural evolution is understanding the life in space. That is, the fact that the Earth, as Buckminster Fuller used to famously say, is a spaceship, spaceship Earth. We are in space already. It's just that we haven't brought that into our perspective as we live here on Earth. The overview effect is simply the sudden recognition that we live on a planet and all the implications that it brings to life on Earth. When we look down at the Earth from space, you know, we see this amazing, indescribably beautiful planet. It looks like a living, breathing organism, but it also, at the same time, looks extremely fragile. Because you go outside on a clear day and it's the big blue sky, and it's like it goes on forever, right? And, and how could we possibly, you know, put enough stuff into it to fill it up with things that really change it, and yet, you see it from space, and it's this thin line which is just barely hugging the surface of the planet. Anybody else who's ever gone to space says the same thing because it really is striking and it's really sobering to see this paper thin layer and to realize that that little paper thin layer is all that protects every living thing on Earth from, from death, basically, um, from the harshness of space. There's this very poetic concept that a lot of people express that there are no boundaries from space. A and I've heard a lot of my astronaut colleagues say that, unfortunately, it's not true. Uh, you do see boundaries. They're mostly the result of human impact. And you can see erosion, uh, clear cutting of forests, and, and you know, it's a long litany of environmental impact that we've had on our planet. And, and that's something which, when you see it from a cosmic perspective, makes you really appreciate the concept of spaceship Earth. I mean, we're all here together. This view of the Earth from space, the whole Earth uh, perspective, I think is the true symbol of this age. And I believe that what's going to happen is there's going to be a greater and greater interest in, in communicating this idea because after all, it's key to our survival. We have to start acting as one species with one destiny. We are not going to survive if we don't do that. We're seeing very clearly that if the Earth becomes sick, then we become sick. If the Earth dies, then we're going to die. People sense that something's wrong, but they're still struggling to go back and find out what the real roots of the problem are. And I think what we need to come to is the realization that it's not just fixing an economic or a political system, but it's a basic worldview, a basic understanding of who we are that's at stake. And a part of that is to come up with a new story, a new picture, a new way to approach this and to shift our behaviors in such a way that it leads to a sustainable approach to our civilization as opposed to a destructive approach. It is a fragile planet, and if we don't take care of it and we don't work together, um, then we are gonna have bigger issues than we have now down the road. On a grand scale, that's, you know, we're basically all living in this one ecosystem called Earth. 
and everything that you do on one side of the ecosystem affects the other side and that is a new way uh, uh, for living for most of humanity. We humans are responsible for ourselves and if we are uh, endangering our future then we've got to learn how to do it differently and to go forward into a sustainable period and right now uh, that seems very difficult, very difficult to see how it's going to be, but we've got to work on it. When I was above the space station, looking down at the space station, looking down at the, you know, against the Earth, and, and seeing this, you know, amazing accomplishment, you know, I was thinking, wow, you know, there was 15 nations that worked together to build this amazing orbital complex in space, and if we can, you know, take these 15 nations and do this amazing accomplishment, imagine what we can do by working together, uh, by setting aside our differences for a common goal, to overcome some of the challenges facing our planet.